Greetings and welcome to Cyber World YT. If you are new here, please show your support by liking and subscribing. Additionally, for any questions or concerns, please consider following me on Instagram. Today we will explore 10 methods employed by hackers to compromise Snapchat accounts, including phishing attempts, man-in-the-middle assaults, and several other tactics. Understanding these methods can help you in ethical hacking and protect your account and personal information. Now that we've set the stage, let's dive deep into these hacking methods. To begin, we have phishing attacks. Hackers love this strategy since it's easy and effective. Phishing attacks involve hackers constructing a phony Snapchat login page that looks quite similar to the real one. The information is taken and delivered straight to the hacker when an unwary user inputs their credentials into this page. Do you find it terrifying? Rest assured though, you can protect yourself against these kinds of assaults in several ways. One of the best ways to stay safe is by always ensuring that you're on the official Snapchat site or app before entering your information. Another thing to watch out for is emails or messages that request personal information or login credentials and seem dubious. The most important thing to keep in mind with phishing attacks is to remain vigilant. The easiest method to protect yourself from hackers is to keep educated and be alert. They are constantly searching for holes. So, be smart and don't let the fishers reel you in. Next, we have spyware. Spyware is a type of malicious software that, once installed on your device, can track your activities and collect your personal information without your consent. It's like a digital spy peeping into your private data. Hackers often use spyware to steal login credentials, credit card information, or even to monitor your personal conversations. Now you might be wondering, how does spyware end up on my device in the first place? Well, it can sneak onto your device through deceptive links, infected downloads, or even bundled with other software programs. Once it's in, it operates covertly, making it hard to detect. But don't panic. There are ways to protect yourself. Regularly updating your device's software can patch security vulnerabilities that spyware might exploit. Employing a robust antivirus program can also help detect and remove spyware. And as always, be cautious about what you download and where you download it from. Keeping your devices updated and protected can save you from falling prey to spyware. Moving on to keylogging. Now this one's quite insidious. Keylogging is a method where hackers use a special type of software, known as a keylogger, to record every single key you press on your device. This includes your Snapchat login credentials, private messages, even the emoji you use. It's all recorded and sent back to the hacker. The catch is that keyloggers are frequently deceptively disguised as innocuous software or applications, which makes it simple to install them on your device without your knowledge. Once installed, they work silently in the background, recording your keystrokes without any visible sign of their presence. So, how can you protect yourself from keyloggers? Firstly, only download apps from trusted sources. Secondly, Maintain an updated antivirus or anti-malware program on your device, as these often detect and eliminate keyloggers. Lastly, consider using a virtual keyboard for entering sensitive information, as keyloggers can't record mouse clicks. Always be wary of what you install on your devices. Session hijacking is another risky technique. A hacker can take over your active Snapchat session using this approach. So how does this happen? Your smartphone and the Snapchat server initiate a session, a brief period of interaction, when you connect into Snapchat. Your session ID is a virtual password that a hacker could use to impersonate you and gain access to your Snapchat account. When hacking, session hijacking techniques like sidejacking and firesheep are commonly used. These tools can sniff out and capture session IDs over unsecured connections. This is why it's crucial to always use a secure connection often indicated by HTTPS in the web address, especially when accessing your social media accounts. A virtual private network, or VPN, can also provide an extra layer of security by encrypting your data, making it much harder for hackers to hijack your session. Secure connections can help you avoid session hijacking. Now, let's talk about password cracking tools. These are sophisticated programs that hackers use to decipher passwords. Some of the most well-known tools include John the Ripper and Kane and Abel. These tools work by systematically checking all possible passwords until the correct one is found. A so-called dictionary attack.
can speed up this procedure by having the tool look for frequently used words or phrases. It's like a thief trying every key on a key ring until finding the one that unlocks the door. To protect yourself against these tools, it's vital to use strong, unique passwords. This means your password should be a mix of letters, numbers, and special characters, and it should not be a common word or a phrase. Also, avoid using the same password across multiple accounts. The stronger and more unique your password, the harder it is for these tools to crack it. Strong, unique passwords are your best defense against password cracking tools. Brute force attacks are a common method used by hackers. But what exactly is a brute force attack? In the digital world, hackers use software that attempts to crack your password by trying every possible combination of characters. The software diligently processes all potential alternatives, whether they are simple strings of alphanumeric characters or more complicated ones like password or 1234. This method can be time consuming and is less effective against complex passwords. However, if the password is simple or common, it could be cracked in a matter of seconds. That's why it's so crucial to have a robust, unique password. Using a mix of uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers and special characters can make your password more resistant to brute force attacks. So keep your passwords complex and unique. Change them regularly and consider using a reputable password manager. Remember a complex password is a strong deterrent against brute force attacks. Rainbow table attacks is up next. Cybersecurity professionals use the colorful term rainbow table attack to describe a malicious conduct. A pre-computed table for reversing cryptographic hash algorithms is what a rainbow table is basically. In simpler terms, it's like a massive cheat sheet for hackers, allowing them to crack hashed passwords. This method is often used because it's much faster than brute force attacks, which try all possible combinations of characters. Now let's talk about prevention. To protect your accounts, the first line of defense is a strong, unique password. Remember, your password should never be something easily guessed like password or 1234. Password managers can help you generate and store complex passwords securely. Additionally, using features like two-factor authentication can add an extra layer of security to your accounts. Keep your passwords secure to protect against rainbow table attacks. The next strategy is social engineering, which is based on manipulation. The method relies more on taking advantage of people's frailties than on any particular level of technical expertise. By using psychological manipulation, social engineers get victims to divulge sensitive information like login credentials and financial details. They may pose as a trusted entity like your bank, a friend, or even a Snapchat employee, and ask you for your details. For example, you might receive an email that appears to be from Snapchat, claiming there's an issue with your account. It prompts you to click a link and log in. But in reality, this link leads to a fake Snapchat site created by the hacker to steal your login credentials. Luckily, there are ways to protect yourself. Be wary of unsolicited communications asking for personal information. Always double check the source before clicking on any links or providing your details. And remember, credible organizations will never ask for your password. Always be cautious and never share personal information with unknown sources. Another method hackers use is DNS spoofing. Now you might be wondering, what is DNS spoofing? Simply put, it's a practice where hackers break into your router and manipulate the domain name system or DNS settings. The altered settings redirect your internet traffic to phishing websites controlled by the hackers. You run the risk of visiting a phishing website that mimics Snapchat in appearance in order to obtain your login information. So, how can you prevent DNS spoofing? First, always change the default password of your router. This simple step can hinder most hacking attempts. Furthermore, keep your router's firmware updated and consider using a network security solution that can detect abnormal traffic patterns. Finally, be cautious when using public Wi-Fi networks. They are often unsecured and can easily be compromised. Secure your internet connection to stay safe from DNS spoofing. Lastly, we have man-in-the-middle attacks. This is a method where the hacker intercepts the communication between you and Snapchat. Picture this. You're in a conversation with a friend, and unbeknownst to you both, there's a third person eavesdropping and even meddling with your messages. This is exactly what happens in a man-in-the-middle attack. The hacker positions themselves between you and the Snapchat server. 
gaining access to your data as it travels back and forth. This method is particularly insidious as it can be hard to detect. But fear not, there are ways to protect yourself. Using encrypted connections is a good start as it can prevent hackers from reading your intercepted data. And of course, always make sure you're on a secure network. Public Wi-Fi, for instance, is a common playground for these hackers. Using a secure network is a must to prevent man-in-the-middle attacks. This concludes our in-depth exploration of Snapchat hacking techniques. Phishing, malware, keylogging, session hijacking, brute force, rainbow table, social engineering, DNS spoofing, and man-in-the-middle attacks have all been covered. You should arm yourself with knowledge of these tactics. Just by sharing this video, you can help keep others safe. For more information about cybersecurity, subscribe to CyberWorld on YouTube. Remember, knowledge is power. Stay curious, stay secure. See you in the next video.